The Hunter. Thanks to the Destiny Alpha, we have learned a great deal about the Hunter. We know of two subclasses. Gunslinger is the first subclass and is the subclass that you will start the game with. Blade Dancer is unlocked at level 15. Both Gunslinger and Blade Dancer are DPS subclasses. Gunslinger focuses on high single target damage, eliminating high priority targets. Let's take a deeper look into the Gunslinger subclass. The Gunslinger subclass is primarily focused on agility with a secondary focus in armor. Gunslinger's highest stat is agility, which boosts the movement speed and maximum jump height of your guardian. It's also important to know that Gunslinger does not grant any bonuses to any specific weapon. It strictly focuses on your abilities. You can choose one upgrade per column. We're going to look at every skill starting with grenades. The three grenades available to you are Incendiary Grenade, Swarm Grenade, and Trip Mine Grenade. Incendiary Grenade explodes for solar damage. Any target hit by the grenade will take additional solar damage over a short time. Swarm Grenade detonates on impact, releasing drones that scout out nearby enemies. Trip Mine Grenade sticks itself to a surface and then explodes when a target walks into the laser trigger. The vertical movement skill is Double Jump. To activate, jump, then jump again while in the air. If you activate this earlier rather than later in the jump, you appear to get a slight height boost. If you use it while descending from your first jump, you'll still jump into the air, unlike the Warlock and the Titan. The three upgrades are as follows. Better Control for better aerial control, Triple Jump, which gives you a third jump, and Higher Jump, which gives your second jump additional height. Golden Gun is your super ability. You pull out a hand cannon with three shots. These shots deal high amounts of solar damage. In competitive multiplayer, one shot will one hit kill an opponent. You have 10 seconds to use all of your shots. You can upgrade it in one of three ways. The first is Deadeye, which increases the accuracy of Golden Gun. The next is Combustion, which causes your enemies to explode if you kill them with Golden Gun. The last is Gunfighter, which reduces the cooldown of Golden Gun. Your melee attack is Throwing Knife, which, well, it's a throwing knife, you throw it. It goes through the air in an arc, so be sure to aim high against targets a far distance away. If Throwing Knife is off cooldown, and you are close enough to your enemy to melee attack them, you will automatically use your melee attack, which is a stab, instead of throwing your knife. Circle of Life is the first upgrade, which grants bonus duration to Golden Gun if you get a kill with the Throwing Knife while Golden Gun is active. The wording does not seem to indicate a restoration of the three shots that you get with Golden Gun, it simply resets your 10 second timer. The second upgrade is Incendiary Blade, which will make your throwing knife deal additional fire damage over time. Knife Juggler is the final upgrade, which will instantly reset the cooldown of throwing knife if you get a precision kill with it. A precision kill is a headshot. The next four skill columns are all passive bonuses. The first column grants bonuses to either your armor, recovery, and or agility. Path Forgotten grants armor and agility, Path Forbidden grants recovery and agility, and Path Unknown grants armor and recovery. The second column grants bonuses to your abilities. Scavenger will reduce the cooldown of your grenade and throwing knife whenever you pick up ammo packs. Keyhole will make your golden gun overpenetrate and deal damage to multiple targets, Presumably, those targets will have to be lined up behind each other. Gunslinger's Trance grants bonus stability whenever you get a precision kill, which can stack up to three times. The third column grants additional bonuses to your armor, recovery, and or agility. Way of the Drifter slightly boosts all attributes, Way of the Fearless greatly boosts armor, and Way of the Nomad greatly boosts recovery. The final column is another passive bonus. Chain of Woe is a passive that will increase your reload speed whenever you get a precision kill and can stack three times. Over the Horizon increases the range of Golden Gun, and Gambler's Dagger grants an additional throwing knife. Finally, you can lock in your subclass for an additional boost to agility, but you are not allowed to make any other changes. When you lock in, you'll be granted another Gunslinger subclass, which will level up slightly faster than the first time. The Gunslinger Hunter excels at single target DPS. Their job should be to take out high priority targets with Golden Gun. Chain of Woe will help you speed things along as long as you're accurate. Trip Mine Grenade will get your damage started quickly if placed properly, like in an area where you know enemies will spawn. 
A good single target damage build would include Trip Mine, your choice of Jump, Gunfighter for more Golden Gun, Incendiary Knife, Scavenger for more ability usage, and Chain of Woe to reward precision killing with more precision killing. As far as your path and way bonus stats, I would aim for speed first, recovery second, and armor third, so path forbidden and way of the drifter. A good hunter typically shouldn't be putting themselves in the line of fire. The hunter's class item is the cape. The lower level capes are not exactly that flashy, they are pretty short, but the higher level capes look much much cooler and are much longer. Dismantling green quality or better hunter armor will grant you sapphire wire, which is used for upgrading your armor later on in the game. That is all I have for you guys on the hunter's gunslinger subclass. We'll hopefully find out more about the blade dancer subclass soon, if not we'll probably have to wait until beta or possibly the full release of the game. Feel free to check out the striker titan and the void walker warlock to see which class is right for you. I'll also have my opinion soon on each of the classes on how they performed in the alpha and how I think they're going to perform in the beta and the retail version so you can best choose which class is right for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.